Okay, close your eyes okay, and escape with here. us. Go. Let's all go to a beautiful Napa Valley mm. vineyard with a great bottle of wine mm. and a little romance. Mm. Okay, if you can't hop on a plane, don't worry. The new novel from Jasmine Guillory should do the trick. Jasmine ditched her life as a lawyer and built a career writing about love, becoming a New York Times bestselling author of eight books in just <laughs> the last five years. Eight books in the last She's five prolific. years. I can't handle it. Her latest is called Drunk on Love. I mean, first of all, can we just say you're on a roll? Yes. <laughs> do they just do these ideas just come out of you? Sometimes. Yeah. I mean, there's some ideas that I have, and then I'm like, I will sit on that for a little while, and then it comes like it's the right time to write it. Can so, we, so there's a little bit of juggling. Can, yeah. Can we just go back to your previous yeah. job yeah. as a lawyer? Yeah. Could you ever imagine like this new life and how mm -hmm. prolific? these mm -hmm. books would become? I mean, you mm -hmm. really are breaking boundaries. Mm -hmm. uh, abs like, if you had told me 10 years ago that this was going to be my life, I never would have <laughs> <I never laughs> heard about it. But you just decided <laughs> to take a risk. Yeah. I, I mean, I just, I loved writing, and I mm -hmm. thought, like, can I really do this? I hope so. Yes. Um, but, yeah, I've had so much fun and gotten to meet so many wonderful readers. Let's talk about Drunk on Love. Yes. You yes. said they some, sometimes the ideas just come to you. How did this one come? You know, I had just finished a book, and I was sort of thinking, I often think, like, I, 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 don't, I have no ideas. What yeah. am I going to do next? Yeah. I, I can't remember I'm out. the book again. And then I thought, Napa Valley. I uh, want to write a book set in that valley. And that Is that because really... you wanted to research there? <laughs> <laughs> well, I live not far away. You know, uh, I live in Northern California. I'm about an hour away. I go up often, you know, with friends and family. And so I thought that's the perfect place. I think that's interesting that you start with the place yeah. and not with the plot, not with the story. Well, you know, as soon as I thought of the place, then a bunch of stuff in the story uh, came to me. Because then I knew, oh, it's going to be at a small family winery. It's going to be a black-owned winery. And then there were, you know, a, a, there's going to be some family drama. Yeah. There's going to be some workplace drama. And yeah. so that... Those ideas came first, and then I, I was like, cool. okay, now this is going to be a fun um, book yeah. to write. You know, one thing that made me as a reader very jealous is that I read there was one year you read 300 <laughs> romance <laughs> novels, and that was sort of oh. kind of the catalyst to really making this change. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I was, ha like, I was having a really hard year, and romance novels were what got me through. Mm -hmm. Like, I sort of needed those books to help get me through. And I've talked to a lot of people who started reading romance novels during the pandemic. Yes. And they said that, that they helped get them through some of the hardest times of the pandemic. And I totally understand that because they helped me, too. Now, I think whenever I talk to great writers, I always ask them what they're reading. And if they were a reader when they were a little kid, were you the kind of kid who was always, like, buried in a book? Oh, my gosh. Always. I mean, my parents were big readers. I learned how to read when I was three years old. Wow. They, like, I was always at the library with them. My family would always joke about, like, Jasmine's over in the corner reading a book, and sometimes they would be like, talk to us, I'm just at the end of the book. Oh, Let me finish. Isn't that so funny? I love That's full that. circle Three, here. You're yeah. a genius. Yeah. All right, we love your taste. Yeah. We love the books you always recommend. We love the books you write. Mm -hmm. Can you just give us some of your best fall recommendations? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I have a stack here for okay. you. What do you recommend first? Okay. Killers of a Certain Age, all I have to do is tell you the what this book is about. Okay. Everyone will want to read okay. it. It is about a group of women in their 60s who have been assassins for 40 years, and now the, the organization that they work for is trying to kill them. What? Whoa. I know. That's good. It's so much fun. Killers of a Certain Age, yes. brilliant we title, too. We love that. Okay. Okay. So much fun. Okay. Oh, I know this one. Um, the oh, Hookup Plan uh -huh. by Farrah Roshan. I, I love everything that she writes, and this one is so great. It's about, you know, two, like, former high school rivals meet back Ooh. up again at the high school reunion mm -hmm. and then start a little romance. Ooh. It is so much fun. Okay. Everyone will love it. Page Turner. Perfect. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, this yep. is a Reese Book Club winner. Oh, uh, it is. On the Rooftop. I just love this book. It's about a mother and her three daughters. It's set in San Francisco in the 1950s. Um, the mother is trying, like, wants her daughters to be a singing group. Yes. She has all this ambition for them. But what she doesn't really realize is her daughters have their own oh, ambitions oh, oh, for like themselves, yeah, and like they're different from what their mom wants. And so it's about, you know, all of their, you know, the relationship between the sisters and the mom, and the community is changing. It's, it's gentrifying at the yeah. time, and it is just a beautiful 
beautiful since, book. Since that's a Reese Witherspoon book, we understand you guys have a little collaboration going, you yes. and Reese Witherspoon. Yes, um, <laughs> with, with Hello Sunshine and yeah. Hulu, we yeah. are developing uh, a show um, based around some of my books. So How, hopefully, is it based around be... sort of? Is it kind of a mix, a matchup of all of your books? <laughs> well, it's some, of several, some of them. So, yeah. Several. So, so that is. So hopefully, we will get to see some of that happening. Soon. Oh my gosh, fans of yours! Wow. <laughs> <Wow>. So <laughs> excited. <laughs> Thank on this you next so level. much. And we'll just also shout out that memoir yes. that's called The Man Who Could Move Clouds. We're so Jasmine, excited to hear Jasmine. Congratulations, Thank you. Thank you all Thank you drunk so much. on love and all of Jasmine's book picks. You guys get them. You can head to today.com/books or get it wherever you buy your books. All right.